This is just a, a very simple articulation thing. These hinges here are in very good shape. They're pretty tight and um, in the sense that they're not loose and don't require putting in pins here. But just with a small amount of articulation I can loosen them up to spec because they're in such good shape. They have to move freely, but not loose. You can kind of feel it when they're just about right. You can lubricate them, but I don't personally go that route. You can also take the pins out that run to, at this knuckle, and you can uh, insert a very thin rod, pushing it back and forth to recompress the felt and go in with a little bit larger hinge pin. That works quite well but is pretty involved. But this works quite well too if they're in good shape and don't have vertigris. Let me show you an example of a bad joint from vertigris. This one is a bad one. and articulating it by hand won't really loosen it up a whole bunch. Whereas these are in much, much better shape. You don't want them too loose. You can see how much they jump up. That's a good example of whether they're right or not. You can do a lot of different but this is an example of the truism that whatever you do, you're going to be doing 85 times. There's 85 keys here. I didn't take these hammers off, you'll notice. And the reason is I want their alignment to the strings. I'm really not wild about changing that. And if I don't have to, I won't. Some of them I had to take off because I was... <clears throat> the ones in the very center, you'll find are... They're looser because they get played a lot and they just, they're looser. These parts are surprisingly tough. I've always been amazed at how strong the wooden hinges are and the parts. They'll take a lot of whacking in some directions, not sideways, up and down like this quite a bit. They're very stable. the balance is different. Now, <clears throat> it's interesting to note that suppose that it was too loose. Okay. 
Sometimes you can put this on a piece of aluminum and take a steel hammer and tap that just right, very little steel hammer, and it will enlarge the diameter of the pin on both sides a little bit and tighten it up. That can work. Otherwise, you take the pin out and uh, you'd have to kind of insert the rod and whoosh, 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 they're different sizes and then you put in a different pin with a that's it.